Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing using the Samsung DeX experience in conjunction with Shadows Cloud Gaming Platform to see how well your phone can act as a full desktop replacement for playing PC games. So guys, without further delay, let's go ahead and get right to it. I recently did a video where I talked about my general experience on the Samsung DeX experience using my Samsung phone and a cheap $25 USB-C hub. Today's video is going to focus solely on Shadow's Android app and how well it functions using the DeX experience, which is compatible with both the S8 and S9 generation of Samsung phones. So guys, let's go ahead and dive into some of the results. I did kind of briefly mention these in that more expanded re review, but today I want to talk into a deeper level on the issues that I, I encountered, some of the workarounds that I instituted, and the current state of Samsung's uh, DeX experience with the Shadow app and some improvements that could definitely be made in the near future if we're going to use this as a full desktop re replacement and actually playing PC games on your smartphone using the DeX experience. For today's testing, I used a wireless USB keyboard in conjunction with a wired USB mouse. The biggest issue that I continued to run into was how the mouse behaved in various games. So in the Samsung DeX experience, generally the mouse worked very good. Sometimes in certain apps, the scroll wheel would not work. Um, so that might be an issue. And But in generally speaking, it worked pretty good. In the Windows environment in Shadow, when you first launch into, the mouse seemed to behave fine. I was able to click on the start menu and so on and so forth. But in certain games, you have varying issues with the mouse. And I'll get into those specific issues, but those revolved around the mouse not being captured in the game. For example, in first person games, when you use the mouse and you rotate it around, it actually rotates your camera. That simply does not work in all the FPS games that I tested. In other games, for example, the mouse will suddenly not be able to click on menus, but in the Windows environments, it's able to click on applications and the menu and so forth. But in some games, the in-game menus simply do not work. And in other games, I simply had issues with the scroll wheel not working, which I also had in the DeX experience. I will note that I haven't done a lot of testing with the Shadow app on Android in general without the DeX experience. So these could be issues uh, that are caused by the DeX experience, or they could be simply issues that you would experience even on the Shadow app if you plug the mouse into your phone using a hub, regardless of whether you have the DeX experience or not. So one genre of games that is not going to work at all is going to be first person games, at least from my testing until an update to the Samsung DeX experience, the Shadow Android app, or possibly both, is pushed out to allow the game to actually fully capture your mouse. So in these types of games, which the games I tested are Far Cry 5, Realm Royale, and Players Unknown Battlegrounds, also called PUBG. In these games, the game actually captures your mouse and it is used to control the rotation of your camera so you can look up and down and left to right. That simply does not function at all in these type of games. I was able to move around in the game world using the keyboard, uh, but I was stuck at the camera orientation that I loaded into. So for example, if I was looking at the ground or looking at the sky, I was stuck looking at in that direction regardless of how I actually moved around in the game world. Somehow I did survive for like five minutes in Realm Royale running around the map without being able to actually control my camera or really effectively pick up loot, but it is definitely not a playable experience at all until an update is possibly pushed in the future. And hopefully we do see an update that allows the games to actually capture your mouse fully because that would be very cool. So an example of a game that actually does work is Jurassic World Evolution, and it actually works very good. So Jurassic World Evolution is a park builder that allows you to build your own Jurassic Park, or rather your own Jurassic World. It's a very fun game, but I might be slightly biased because I'm a huge Jurassic Park Universe fan. So with all that said, there was one weird quirk that I came into, and that's the fact that the scroll wheel did not work. But I think this is actually due to the Samsung DeX experience simply because I did actually experience this same issue on other apps, even when I was running the Android native apps and not uh, connecting to a Windows desktop through a cloud computer. So with that said, that is not an issue that is really a showstopper because you do have a keyboard uh, command that allows you to zoom in and out the camera. So all said, it's not a big issue. The game was completely playable using the Samsung DeX experience and using my phone to connect to the Shadow PC platform, which is very cool and does show that this feature could be very capable. We just need to work on some of the mouse issues that affect games that capture the mouse a little bit differently. 
The final game that I tested was Rocket League, and for the most part, it's playable. With the exception of once you launch the game from the Windows environment, it completely forgets that there is a mouse plugged in. So I had to navigate to, through the menu using the arrow keys, but once I did that and launched the game, it was completely playable. It has been a while since I played Rocket League, but I think I'm used to playing with the mouse to do some of the commands. Uh, but I was able to completely play the game using the keyboard. It just seemed like the keybind was off. But that could simply be because I'm used to playing using the mouse too. It just has been a while since I've played Rocket League, so I don't exactly remember the controls. I always have to look up the controls every time I play it, just simply because I don't play it on a regular basis. But it did seem to be a little weird to play just with the keyboard, but it was completely playable, uh, at least with my level of skill. So Rocket League somewhat works, Jurassic World Evolution works pretty good, and some games uh, such as first person shooters or even first person games in general are not going to work at all, at least from my testing. So if you liked this video or found it otherwise enjoyable, give it a big like. I greatly appreciate that, guys. Also, if you're not already an existing subscriber, make sure to smash that subscribe button to stay tuned for more great videos from Dr. Roving Deck. I will be reviewing uh, the Liquid Sky and Parsec app on the Dex experience to see how well they function, any issues that I come into, or if they play some of the games better or worse versus the Shadow app. So keep an eye out for those in the near future. And also if you're interested in the Dex, I will have actual videos on that using like productivity apps. Uh, to see how well it actually functions as a mobile desktop replacement for a mobile business user. So from there, that's pretty much into today's video. If you do want to support Thought Provoking Tech, I do have a Patreon, which is linked below. So consider heading over there and subscribing to one of my tiers. I have like a dollar tier and as well as a five dollar tier. Any support at all is greatly appreciated, guys. Uh, so once again, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, Zach out.